In this video, we're going to talk about options for your game and your player within your game. What I've done is I've set up a couple of sprites here, a uh, sprite blue, a sprite red, which are just squares, and I have a sprite 2, which is just a button to go to an options menu. And we're going to allow the player to go into the game, choose the color that they want their player to be, in the options menu and then when they start playing the game their player is going to be that color now again these are just squares you can use any sprite that you want you can change colors you can change different animations however you want to use this but the problem traditionally with this is we would set this up to initialize the variable that we use to hold what options the player chooses in a room that starts up just before the menu. So we would have a room here and as soon as GameMaker initializes it would read, open that room, read the variables, initialize the variables and then go to the menu. The problem with that is that we can't use game restart because those variables will reinitialize and that would force the player to go back in and make those choices again. Now in some cases you may want to do that but in this case we don't. So we want to go straight to the menu but we still need to initialize variables and in this case the variables that we're going to use I've made an object here called object player and we're going to use a global dot player color which just tells game maker what color that the player has chosen. So we're going to walk you the through this from the start, uh, we set up the option button. The option button is what the player will see when it, they first open the game as this option right here. And when that button is created, we're going to talk about this code in just a second. This is actually what does all of the magic. But when the left press, it's going to go to the next room, which is the options room. When we have a space bar press, it's going to go to room with the index of 2, which is a level. Basically, that's how they're getting into the game. You can make a start button however you want to do that. Um, on our objects for our blue and our red, which is what the player is going to see once they select the options button, they're going to see a blue and a red square. These are actually set up as buttons. So if the blue one is pressed, it's going to set our global dot player color to equal blue and it's going to show us a message box to just give the uh, player some feedback on which one they chose. The object red will do the exact same thing except for the fact that it will set that global variable to be red. It will give us the same message that we got in our blue. I also set up a space bar just to get back to the main menu Again, you can have a button that says back to main menu, however you want to set that up. Now, the magic is actually created with the script. We're going to create a script, and I call my script scr underscore var for script variable. You can name it anything that you want. And in this, all I have is just set up the global variable. I made it equal none just so we can make sure that it actually doesn't reinitialize when we go back to the main menu. And that's all I've put in that script. Now how we call that script is I decided to put it in the options button. Again, you can put it in any object that you want. But we're going to write this line of code. Now what this is, is this is telling GameMaker it needs to go find the script var, scr underscore var, which is what we named our script. We need to run that script, but it's only going to run when the game initializes. So if we do a game reset, it will not run that script again. It will only run that script if the game's closed out and restarted again. So let's walk through that real quick and see what that looks like. We'll hit play. 
This is our options button. We're going to click options. We're going to choose a color. We can choose blue and it'll tell us blue or red. We'll go back to the main menu and now we'll go to level one and you can see that our player is red. Now I'm going to real quickly on our player add a key press event with a space bar just to tell it to go back to the menu room. Click on our options. This time we'll choose blue. Go to our level one. We can see that our player is blue. We're going to go back to the main menu. Back to level one. And see it's still blue. We'll go back to the main menu. We'll choose red this time. And you can see that the player is red. Thanks for watching. And I have included this file in the comments below in case you want to mess around with this code. If you can get something out of this, please subscribe and give us a thumbs up.